David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. We're back talking about safari jackets. Some people call them camp jackets. Some people call them field jackets, but we like to call them safari jackets because they harken back not just to military and safari action, but James Bond. And, and of course, the James Bond that everybody thinks about, how could you not, when you think about safari jackets, has got to be Roger Moore, whether it's, you know, all the way from the man with the golden gun all the way through to Octopussy, you've got these wonderful safari jacket moments. You remember them well. There's lots of different colors. There's green safari jackets. There's nearly off-white safari jackets. There's beige safari jackets. There's safari looking shirts. There's a lot of safari stuff going on in James Bond, so we have to talk about it. But the thing we're talking about today is what I'm wearing right here. And that is this safari jacket from Mason and Sons. And if that sounds familiar, they're the family company that really has woken up many of the Bond brands that we love that have been forgotten over time, like Anthony Sinclair and some of the sunglasses that we know and love from Curry and Paxton. But they've re-released a line of safari jackets. You could find the link below. And the reason why we wanted to talk about them is there's something new in town. What's interesting about this jacket is Mason and Sons decided to do some things that really live with us, the, the materials that they made it out of. So this one, the one that I'm wearing right now, and I'll get up nice and close so you can see the material. It's kind of an interesting looking material, and there's a reason for that. It's made out of linen. It's got about 25% linen, and the rest of it is something called lysocell. Lysocell is a sustainable fabric. It's made out of like a pulp. But you're thinking to yourself, ooh, wood pulp, doesn't that feel weird? It feels incredibly luxurious. We always talk about the hands, so we've got to. When I took this out of the package, and it didn't need much ironing, by the way, it kind of came out looking like this. Um, this thing felt amazing. It's not heavy. It's something I feel like I could wear in definitely two to three seasons. I probably obviously would not wear it in the winter, but these are not made to be worn in the winter. Anybody see Roger Moore wearing one in the winter? No, it doesn't happen. So this is a perfect material. This lysocell linen blend really moves with you. It's got really good free form. Let's move around a little bit like, like we always do, all right? You can see that it moves very nicely with me. Now this is a size 50, European 50. It fits perfectly. You can see it's not too big, but it's also not too snug. And by the way, even if it was too big, a lot of this is fully adjustable. All right, so I've taken off the jacket specifically so I could show you some of the inside details. Check this out. We'll come up nice and close. All right, so you see that it's kind of lined at the top there. But what's great is, look at this. You've got the venting. You've got the interior pockets, some really simple access pockets. But this toggle right here, that's what I meant by being able to cinch it. You can see I brought it in probably about an inch on the sides. That's all. I felt that it could use just about an inch drop. There's the Mason and Sons of London. And by the way, this is made in Italy. Italy. So you know it's got to be good. There's the other toggle on the other side. Yet another pocket. So, I mean, if you start counting the amount of pockets that this thing has, it's pretty outstanding. It's pretty overwhelming. You are not going to need more pockets than what this jacket has. So you could see that the inside of this, the adjustability makes it very versatile. You could literally crumple this up, put this in an overnight bag. Uh, you could put it on a, <laughs> when we are allowed to travel again, uh, conveyor belt and, you know, not have to worry about it too much, although I might be a little bit precious. And you know something, I may, just to be totally obnoxious, pop the collar a little bit or train the collar just to have a little bit of kind of it coming up, almost like a little bit of a raincoat type action orientation, but it moves really well. Let's check out the back. We always do that. So the back, there's, there's no split or anything in the back. It's, again, got a great feel. The sleeves fit perfectly here. You can see that the sleeves right here, you've got this nice open vent, fully adjustable, two buttons. What I really want to point out, though, are some of the details of this jacket. You've got the multi-pockets, which 
really harkened back to what these military or field jackets were all about. They needed something that could blend in, that could be camouflaged, but something with very practical pockets and lots of pockets. And these pockets are usable. There are so many fashion safari outfits and jackets and shirts where they're just not practical. This thing is incredibly practical. The pockets are very deep. They're very useful. I would actually and will carry things in these pockets, but it's very simple and I love that type of simplicity. Now, they've got a range of colors in what they call their performance fabric, but I want to show you the color that they sent me because to me it screams cosmopolitan. Look, we're all about the details here. So before I show you this next jacket, it does come in this suitor, which is fantastic because it's all about the style and being able to protect this. It comes with a wonderful hanger. You can see there, yes, we show every little accoutrement, but let's try on this jacket. Okay, now I don't want to play favorites. This isn't Sophie's Toys. We're reviewing field jackets, safari jackets, but this, this may be my favorite. <laughs> Let me come on up and close so you can see this. The, the color of this jacket is called Olympian, but, or Olympia, but it's blue. It's like a navy blue. I love navy blue. It's very military, but look, look, at the, look at the form on this thing. This thing fits me perfectly. It's a 50, again. Uh, it, because it is a mixture of polyur polyester and polyurethane, it's giving this really great performance type feel. It doesn't make a lot of noise though. Like a lot of performance fabrics, they make this like hefty bag feel. No bueno, you don't want that. No, this is just very comfortable. It's like material. Ethereal, material, material. Lord of the Rings fans, post down below. What's that lightweight elven fabric? It's just like that. It's super light. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything at all, but it creates this fantastic silhouette here that you could see. Why are you, why are you, why are you leaning forward, David? Don't lean forward. Just, you know, relax your shoulders. All right, let's check out the back. We do this. So this is a size 50. It fits me perfectly. It fits me as good as the other jacket, if not better. I think the way this performance material hangs, and when I say performance material, let's get up close and personal. You can see this shine here. Again, you got that double fastener on the sleeves. This is great if it was a lightly raining, drizzling, misting, fog, or just not. <laughs> you know, three seasons out of the year, I could throw this on. I have a similar uh, Anthony Sinclair Mason and Sons performance safari field jacket. That's a mouthful. Keep it going, David. You've got more words. And I wear it all the time. It's just an easy, relaxed go-to. It travels extremely well. You can imagine you know, not that I would want to bunch this up, but you could bunch this up. But look at where this falls too. This is perfect. I'm five foot nine and I always have problem with, you know, these things coming down too long. And I know what you're saying. What if I'm tall, David? What if I'm a human sized person? That's fine too, because really, even if you're gigantic and tall, it's going to come well under the belt line. No, well under the belt line, which is exactly where you want one of these field jackets to hit. And I've got to tell you, from a movement standpoint, perfect. I mean, it's, it's exactly what I was looking to. It still has all these wonderful pockets. It has lots of room on the outside, but just as you would imagine, just like you saw on the other one, it has a very similar type of lining and detail, which is exactly what you want. You can see the pockets here. You could see also the toggles and that you could actually start to bring this in if you wanted to. I didn't need to, but you could see the pockets up there in the lining. And it is, I can't even tell you, unbelievably lightweight, which I'm really enjoying. Anyway, just wanted to go through this, this potpourri of different things that they have in store for us at Mason & Sons. People were so grateful about re-releasing these because they missed out the first time around, but now you've got different things, different colors, as well as different fabrics to pick from depending on your lifestyle. So, well, it's not misting out there yet, but tomorrow it is, so I'm gonna go give this a try. I'll leave you to it. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you wanna be 
up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're gonna get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.